Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. So in today's session, we'll be seeing how we can install third-party applications on Android TV. So here we are going to follow a simple process. We are going to download an APK through browser. So I'll show you how we can select and how we can download an APK through browser and how we can install the same APK file using the file manager. So let's begin. So here we are going to see how we can install an application without using Play Store. So in the last session itself, we have seen how we can install an application using Play Store. So now if we want to install any application from third party, say some browser or some other application or other FTP links through which we get the location of the application. So for that, you will need the file manager in place. So the simplest way to do is having a file manager. So for file manager, definitely we can again go to Play Store and install any file manager, any basic file manager, which we get. So here, if we search on the search section, we'll just type in file manager. So even if we type in halfway through, we'll be getting some entries here. So we'll just go for the first one itself and here we'll click on install. So as we see, saw in the last session itself, it will first download and then install the application which we are choosing through Play Store. Okay, so now we did not have any file manager application already present. So here we are getting the permissions first. We have accepted the permission. If you go to SD card, we'll have this particular folders present here. So obviously there would not be any file present here. So we'll have to download any files. So all the files which are downloaded should come under download. So that also we'll see going ahead. Now, as we have the file manager in place, let's try and download certain applications through a browser. So obviously, as we don't have any browser application installed, let's install an application for browser as well. So again, we'll go to this is Google Play itself. So here, let's go. Let's type in some browser. So I'll just say browser here. And once we type in browser, let's see what options we have. Usually we'll choose a browser which, you know, has the lowest, um, we can say memory which is present. So here I have just taken the first one which we have in the list. This is also TV internet browser. So always choose the ones which have TV prefixed with the application name because these are compatible applications which are made only for TV. So even if you have TV, like you have purchased an Android TV or smart TV, there also you'll have to make these two things available that is one is file manager and the another one will be a browser so browser will be using for downloading the apks directly okay and obviously once the apk is downloaded to install that apk we'll have to navigate to the location where it is been downloaded so for that we'll be using file manager so this is the process which we are going to follow let's see which apk we can download so as we have file manager and browser application in place let's see how we can download some application using both so the main target here is we have to download some application using the browser so here what we'll try we have opened google so through google we'll be searching some apk so first of all just for common case we'll just search for file manager apk so we'll just see how we can download this APK. So when I click on file manager APK, obviously it will show us the app store link. So I just, I'll just add on download here. So we've added file manager APK download. So here we have one link that is APK pure. So if you just use the browser or the TV console or the TV cursor here, you'll be able to see that we are able to access this. So if I just go here, and I'll click on this particular link that is file manager APK download. And this particular link is from APK pure. So it is not from our Google Play Store. 
so if we come here it will give us the apk size as well so we'll just click on download the apk once we click on download the apk we are getting the downloading prompt and obviously as we are doing it for the first time even on your tv which you have at home or obviously on the emulator you'll be asked the permission to access it so we'll just allow it once you allow you'll get downloading file prompt present here and now this particular file will be downloaded and it will be present in our file manager so we'll just go to file manager from the app section so here if we go to file manager and if you go to sd card and downloads here you can see the application the file manager application which we just downloaded using the apk pure link through browser is present here the apk is downloaded let's try to install it we just have to click on it then there will be a permission asked whether we really want to install the application or not we'll just click on install once you click on install the app will be installed you can even open it from here and then as per the installment permissions will be asked and once you provide the permissions you will be able to access the application so this is a very normal way of installing if you go to apps also now you will be able to see that this particular file manager is present which we just install installed from browser and then the file manager so this is the way through which you can download and install applications using or a third party application using the browser first and then the file manager so browser and file manager is must here if you want to install any particular applications also like say if you want to install amazon uh, amazon fire tv so if you go here and you click you just type in amazon tv apk and download so if you click here will be navigated to a particular link that is for apk pure and if you click on it the download should start so here your downloading has started we just navigate to the file section so in the file manager in some time we'll be able to see that the particular amazon fire tv application has been downloaded similarly you can just click on it and then the application would application installment would start so now there is giving some parsing error but as the download is still in progress it will give you parsing error once the downloading is completed we will be able to install this particular application similarly what we did for file manager so if you want to install any application on tv these steps you can follow and do it so there is one more query that once you install the application so obviously there should be some way to uninstall the application as well so in that case what you have to do if you have an application which is installed in your tv you can just through remote you can select that particular application in the app section and once you select it just long press that application you will have a middle button on remote to do it once you long press you'll get additional information about the application so you can get the information add to favorites move open so after that you can select uninstall and that particular application will be uninstalled you can select ok and then there will be a prompt and the app will be uninstalled again if you go to the app section you will definitely won't see that application so this is also a basic uh, thing which we, which we should be aware when we are using android tv so that was the process of installing third party application in android tv we used the emulator of tv to do it so stay tuned for more interesting topics around the emulator hope this session was useful don't forget to subscribe non functional clip channel thank you